Instagram, Pinterest, and it's obvious, everyone has an aesthetic. So it might be cottagecore, goth, that girl, or any number of aesthetics. Some have names, some are more of a hybrid. I had no sense of style and no defined aesthetic, and in today's video I am showing you how I fixed that. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cheese and Turtles, I'm Imogen in this video. I'm showing you how I found my style and embraced my dream aesthetic. If you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? It's down there. Uh, let's get into the video. Okay, so recently, in the last year, I went from not knowing what my aesthetic was to having a clearly defined aesthetic and having a wardrobe full of clothes I love while still being a minimalist. So, here's how. So, firstly, what even is my aesthetic? My aim, you can, you can judge whether I did it or not, um, depending on how well you know me or my Instagram posts or whatever, um, is that girl pastels basic. So, I'm just normal, basically. Um, and so we're looking at minimalist outfits, routines, delicate colours, occasional bright colours like fairy lights, flowers, nail polish, coloured hair, that kind of thing. So this is a little example for you. So I've got today is like a basic outfit, um, I've got like jeans. Um, anyway, but I have some I have some garments. So this this is like a, a summer shirt that I love. Uh, so it's just like orange. It's really very sort of pastel-y orange. Um, I've got these white shorts that I wear all the time especially in the summer, but not exclusively in the summer. And then I've got this brown shirt that is just says obsessed, and it's just a crop top. So those are some examples for my aesthetic. Um, anyway, let's get into the video of how I actually did this. I notice people. So you naturally see people when you're out and about. Um, even an introvert like me goes out of the house sometimes. And I would often notice colours or styles on outfits. So I made an effort to try and categorise what I noticed just write down colours or styles I really liked. This meant I could like search up the same colours or designs online when I got home, as I would be home for many, many hours every, every day, and just learn their names and add them to my list of clothes to get. So the second way is that I asked people, so if the situation is right, and please use your judgement here, if you're ever unsure, don't, um, you can tell someone you really like their sense of style and ask them where they got their outfit. So, Often people are pleased that you think they have good taste and they'll be happy to tell you. Obviously don't be a creep about it, but um, I once did this with a girl I met who had a terrific like linen romper suit and she told me where she bought it and she was pleased I admired her style, so honestly that was a win-win. Uh, but again, read the situation, don't ask people randomly, especially if they don't seem receptive. Like You can get vibes off people, you can get like friendly vibes or leave me the hell alone vibes. Um, so just read the vibes is what I'm saying. Um, use your common sense. I'm sure you have common sense. You're watching my video, of course you have common sense. Right, so I went to shops a lot, so this is my third tip. Not even to buy stuff, just like look around, take photos, get ideas for what I wanted to wear. Over time I build up experience. I took so many photos in H&M, and you look, you can't even imagine it. Anyway, yeah, so I build up experience, I learn the names of more styles, and where to get them from. So I'm an H&M girl to my core. Um, I, yeah, again, it's basic, but I like it. Um, so yeah, I found some stores for my favourites, I developed a list of styles and colours I liked, and I could go find stuff online, or if I didn't want to, if I didn't want to, or couldn't afford to buy it in store. So, that was the shopping tip. So I tried a bunch of different clothes, I noticed what I hated just as much as what I liked. Uh, when I was a teenager I spent a lot of time feeling really lost with my style, and just kind of hated the way I looked, and just didn't really know where to go with it. So I'd often go ch thrifting for like very cheap secondhand clothes and that enabled me to sort of fail several times so you know if I only spent two quid on a thing it would be like that's no problem like I didn't like it but I spent no money but virtually no money on it so it's fine and hey I learned something because now I know not to buy that style again. Um, if I hated something I asked myself why so did it feel uncomfortable like physically uncomfortable did I not like the fabric the cut was it scratchy um, did it just not fit my body style very well? Did the style not suit me? Did it make me feel self-conscious? Um, was it the colour? Sometimes the colour can put you off something, or the material. So this is all excellent information to tell me what I might like, as in, you know, if I hated something, then I would try the opposite, and often I'd like that. Or, sometimes if I hated something, I only had to make like a minor alteration to it. Um, so if I didn't like, I hate that shade, then I'd get something in a slightly different shade, and I would that would suit me much better. So. One more tip, but it's really good. Um, I found inspiration online, so everybody does this, but honestly, it's a lifesaver because you can try out so many things and 
yeah, I just found it really helpful. So often my favourite YouTubers and influence ha influencers had gorgeous style. So a couple of examples I can think of, shameless plug for some of my favourite channels. Jen Im, I've been watching her since I was like a teenager and she's amazing, so go and check out her channel. It's at Clothes Encounters, I think, but you just search up Jen Im, she'll come up. The other one is Fernanda Ramirez, who's been growing like crazy on here and she's incredible, like her style is fantastic, I admire her aesthetic so much. So yeah, if you haven't watched their channels, you absolutely should. Often like influencers and other YouTubers tag their clothes in descriptions or posts so that enabled me to sort of go and like look through the descriptions and be like oh right I can save that from there and come back to it. I mean this is kind of the point of tagging clothes in posts anyway is that people go and buy them or at least go and look at them. So it's pretty standard practice and you should be able to find a lot of good stuff that way. I made sure to sort of pay attention to this and during the process of finding my style I also followed some extra style influencers to get more ideas while I was still defining my aesthetic. I've unfollowed most of them now, but I still follow the ones that I really liked. So yeah, that's pretty much how I got to my aesthetic. And honestly, your aesthetic can be anything. I mean, mine's very sort of reasonably conventional and basic, but it can be anything. It can be crazy and um, it can stand out. Honestly, your aesthetic should be whatever makes you happy. And don't let anyone tell you that your aesthetic is bad, because it's not. Your aesthetic is great. I love it. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it and hit the subscribe button. Again, it's down there. Um, I upload new productivity content every Monday. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I will see you next week. Okay, bye.